Hi, welcome to the General Ledger Account Card Overview in Dynamics Nav. To get to the General Ledger Account Card, select the chart of accounts from the Finance module. To view the details of a particular General Ledger Account Card, you can either click on the account number, or you can use the filter function to look for a specific account. So right now, I'm searching for an account called Sales Raw Material Domestically. There it is. So the general section contains fields that define what and how general ledger entries are handled in the general ledger account, such as the account number, the name, whether the account is related to the income statement or balance sheet. The debit and credit field specifies the type of entries that will normally be posted to this general ledger account. The account type indicates the purpose of the account in the different lists, journals, and reports, and direct posting, which specifies whether you'll be able to post directly or indirectly to this general ledger account. To review transactions which make up the net change or balance values, you can click on the balance and the ledger entry page will display the details of this account. And now you can see the various transactions made for this account. The posting section contains fields that determine how the general ledger and VAT transactions are recorded. The general posting type is whether the account is used for sales or purchase transactions. The general business posting group indicates whom you sell to or buy from. The general product posting group indicates which type of item you sell or purchase. I'm currently using a system that contains European data, so that's why the system calculates VAT for the business posting group and product posting group. The VAT business posting group will automatically be inserted in a journal, sales, or purchase line when you select the GL account. And the VAT product posting group defines how much VAT is allocated for transactions with this account. And remember, the posting groups can be different based on your business requirements. The consolidation section specifies the account numbers in a consolidated company in which you'd rather transfer debit or credit balances. When transferring such balances from subsidiaries to your parent company, accounts of your choice will be formed into the consolidated companies according to the methods you define. In the reporting section, you're able to specify how general ledger accounts will be adjusted for exchange rate fluctuations between local currency and additional reporting currency. In the account window itself, any relevant notes for the account will be displayed on the pane on the right hand side. To add a new note relating to a particular general ledger account, you select the plus button, add a note, and select OK. So I'm going to just remove the filter I made. To export the chart of accounts list to Excel is pretty easy. In the home ribbon under page, click on open in Excel. And here's your chart of accounts in Excel format. And that sums up the general ledger account card in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.